Well, welcome everybody and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 11th of July through to Sunday the 17th of July 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message card and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message card. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. Thank you. Wow. Okay, so the first card is compromise. That's really interesting because some of the weekend, quite a lot of the elementals for the weekend uh, came out with compromise or some sort of balance. I feel those of you um, that I'm connecting with, either you have broken up with somebody and you want to reconcile and they're not quite sure or it's the other way around. But I feel that there is some sort of compromise that needs to happen. There needs to either be a balance of emotions or maybe you're wanting this connection too quickly after a breakup. OK, I feel if you can balance out yourself, your emotions, that's where the happiness comes in. This card wanted to come. Yeah, you'll be successful. I feel that many of you, you're being guided to compromise Um if somebody wants to return to you, I feel that you're being guided. If you don't want to be with this person, use it as an opportunity to close the door properly so that you can move on and be successful in the next relationship. What you don't want to do is carry over the baggage of that relationship. If it's a situation where you have broken up with somebody um, and they want to reconcile with you, but you're having you're having none of it, um, you, you may need to compromise, you may need to hear this person out in order to get a balanced viewpoint so that either you and this person can move on successfully or you close the door properly and move on. But I'm strongly kind of getting that it might be you, those of you that I'm connecting with, that may want to um, reconcile with somebody that perhaps you broke up with or you both walked away from the situation, it feels as if, and I could be wrong, we'll get into it more uh, closely, but what I'm channeling is that <laughs> whoever you're connecting with, they have quite high standards. I would say that this person is quite a traditionalist. It almost feels, their energy feels like somebody that like once they, once they part from somebody, they don't go backwards. I feel that you're being guided to know that what you want, a balanced relationship or to return to this person to balance things out because that's where you see your success, you may need to give it some time because um, whatever it is that you're wanting to balance with this person to get success, it's still being woven in the ether. So it's almost as if as you uh, manifest, wish, pray for a return, um, it's almost like um, uh, it, it's still in the it's still in the ether. It's it's still being um, uh, what's the word? It's still in germination, uh, germination stage. Yeah. So you're being guided to kind of uh, wait um, because I feel that this person needs to either compromise with you them compromising you will make you happy because then that it things balance out but do you know something um because of the energy that I'm getting with this person um if if <laughs> I'm sorry to say but I feel like if this person is uh, quite stubborn and if you're resonating with somebody that um if you're resonating with somebody that like once they like finish with somebody or like once there's a breakup, they're the kind of person that doesn't go back. Um, I feel that you're being guided to see that. To see that and almost don't waste your time anymore. Because it's like they won't compromise on a reconciliation. It's like, you know, it's like they say once you break up, you can't make up. You can't go back to what was. And so for many of you, you're being guided if you believe. Now, if you believe that there is success in this connection, then you may need to compromise um, 
or listen to their compromise. But I'm really, really, I, I, t I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm on the right track. So you're going to have to bear with me. Um, those of you that I'm connecting with, because I'm getting a lot of information. It's almost as if, if this person is really, really stubborn and they are of the attitude that when uh, they break up, they don't go back to the same person. They move on. Um, you may have to balance out your emotions um and see that it's not going to balance out or they're not going to compromise with you to even consider um a reconciliation and so therefore it's like you're being guided that if they're not on the, on the same page as you then let it go it's like removing the veil of what divine spirit universe is trying to see this person ain't going to come back so if you balance out your emotions and you um, accept that, you may have success if you still believe in love. Many of you, you're being guided to ground yourself, go into like meditation or something, prayer. Um, we've got the full moon that's coming in on the 13th of July. Ask your spirit team, ask spirit divine um, universe, your higher selves for the answer for the situation that you're in. Because you're being guided, if you still believe in love or if you still believe in this connection, you can paint a different picture. But you might have to approach it in a different way. For some of you, I'm almost feeling like this person isn't in alignment with you. Like no matter what you do, they're not going to compromise. Some of you, you may, it's like there's a choice that needs to be made here. There's a choice that I feel that you're being guided to make and make the decision that gives you that inner peace, that inner balance. That's where your success is going to be. But it's like they're saying to you, don't give up on love just because this situation didn't pan out. Believe, believe that the right person is out there for you and call them in. I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting it right. I, this is the first time this has ever happened to me. I don't know. Because the channeling that I'm getting it, it, is either I'm picking up a number of your um, energies that are wanting answers. The void. Okay. Stop. Embrace winter. Great cosmic womb. Many of you, you're very in the dark of who, of, of whoever you're connecting with. Um, and this is this isolation that I was picking up. I don't know if I said it earlier. Uh, I was picking up that you, many of you are either in isolation, like you've withdrawn. It's like you're being guided. Get back out there. Believe in love. Believe in the right person will come your way. It might not actually be the person that you think that you're thinking of. It could be somebody completely new. And that's where you might have to compromise with yourself that, you know what, if this person ain't showing interest, if they don't want to reconcile, then maybe I need to just kick it to the curb and just keep going forward. That's where you're going to have the success. For some of you, you're still in the darkness about how this person really feels about you. Which for some of you, I'm feeling that they do want to clear something up after some sort of breakup, after feeling really disengaged from you but they're scared confused they might have a lot of regret it's different for all of you ma'am but this stop and embrace with the void i think this is the energy or the channeling that i was getting for you to ground yourself because that is where you're going to find the answers that's where you're going to get the clarity what's this one the seas of mintaka seeing potential bring us bringing unconsciousness to light. So I feel with the, with the seas of Mintaka, if I am remember, I'm trying to remember the, in fact, let me just get the, um, let me just get the book because uh, I think, I think if I remember technically the meaning for this card is that um, as a, like a star seed, you've, you've got the uh, ability to, heal let me just double check so that i can put it into context um the seas of mintaka okay so the seas of mintaka 
A Cayman Taka is thought to have been a water-based um, planet containing the most crystal clear waters you can ever imagine. So clear that you could see for miles and miles underwater. The Seas of Mintaka card represents this crystalline clarity. Look at that. I told you. You guys are being guided to ground yourself so that you can see clearly what the heck is going on. Because at the moment you're in the dark, your spirit team want you to come into the light. Let me just read, continue reading. It says, um, it's about the ability and choice. Didn't I say that you've got to make a choice? It's about the ability and choice to see the potential in all people and situations. This could be one of your natural traits or it could be a sign that what you're currently doing has great potential. Mintakians are thought to have been a galactic race who saw the light in everything and everyone. So you're you're seeing the light in the situation. So that's what I mean. Um, the star seed um, of the Mintakians, they had this um, ability to see things real clearly. I feel right next to the void, right now you're not seeing clearly because you're not grounded. You are being guided to make a choice to ground yourself so that you can get the answers directly from your spirit team um, divine spirit universe your higher selves maybe i'm just a conduit to guide you to do that okay um with the mentakians you you see good so you still hold hope for this connection but what you may not be seeing is that this person may not want to compromise and they may want to clear that up and um almost ask you like why are you confused it's like we broke up why are you confused don't you get it like I don't want to be with you that's the kind of energy that I'm getting and so many of you you're being guided believe that your true love is out there it may not be the person that you're thinking about and you're not seeing that clearly now but you do have the ability to see clearly and many look at that I can't even make it up oh uh, my god lifting the veil Qu look 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 at the card questioning everything anything unaligned must go look guys i'm not being funny i am not making this up i know there are many tarot readers very talent talent readers out there but i'm telling you something when i channel these messages right and when they start coming out in the card like it spooks me right it spooks me and I'm telling you, there's a situation that you are, you and your person are not aligned and you're in the dark. You are not embracing that this connection might actually flip and be over. And you're being guided. It's so, you're being guided to lift the veil out of the darkness and see clearly. You have the ability. You can see clearly. Many of you may have that gift of um, sight, of vision, but you're not tapped into it at the moment because you're wrapped around this person. You're being guided. You need to balance. You need to balance yourself because it feels as if this person isn't going to compromise. There is some sort of disconnect um, or it was a breakup. But this person, whoever they are, they don't go backwards. If you have to talk to them, they have that kind of standard. Like if I break up with somebody, I never go back together. I never get back together with them. You're being guided to see that. Pull back the curtains and see that clearly. They're not aligned on your thinking. So get rid of it. Kick it to the curb and move on. That's where your success is. They want you to continue to believe in love. Believe in love that is balanced. That somebody that will compromise with you. That will give and take equally. That is what they want for you. That is where your success is going to be. Wow. Okay, we got it in the end. We got it in the end. Right. Those of you that I am connecting with, if this is if this is resonating for you, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push the video out to other seeking a general reading. And this feels like a very important message of knowing when to let something go because it's not serving your highest good, all right? So I please, I do encourage you to um, uh, 
click that thumbs up and to, so that the video can get pushed out all right um it also enables you to get, obviously get those notifications of when i'm uploading new messages which after this i'll be doing the week ahead zodiac signs um and it also helps to support the channel of course um so thank you for that i'm, I'm really grateful uh, existing subscribers welcome welcome back thank you for all of your um uh, encouragement uh, your donations it's really really uh, appreciated and I really really do hope that you all all get something useful out of this uh, week ahead reading yeah okay let's get into your main love message my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does these soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love Week commencing Monday the 11th of July through to Sunday the 17th of July 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards the collective that I'm allowed to see for the highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. Do you know something? My I'm being guided to say that... I may be looking at this in one uh, like one dimension. For some of you, your person may be in the darkness and can't see clearly a way of reconciling or getting things back on an even keel. And it could be you that they see as somebody that has really high standards. Maybe they feel um, that you are not attainable to them. Like you, they may feel like they're boxing above their weight with you. And so therefore they could be lifting back the vows and just thinking there's nothing in common with you. And so therefore they're not going to compromise. It's like it's it's over before it started. Um, almost like the two, they may feel that the two of you are like chalk and cheese, but you may still be pursuing them. Thank you and thank you. Well, look at that. Whoever I am reading for, your person definitely wants to talk, but they're guarded. They want to put the whole situation behind them, whether it's a breakup, whether it's a disconnect. Uh, they want to put it behind them. So remember what I said. Um, remember what I said, that this person might be um, uh, like a bit of uh, 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 like stubborn. Like when they break up with people, they don't go backwards. That's that six of swords. They want to move forward, whether it's with you. Yeah. Do you know what I said? They want to talk. They want to talk. Um, both of you want to talk, in fact, because this the two of swords is right in the centre of the reading. But they don't know how to initiate the conversation. You don't know how to initiate the conversation. Do you know what? I can't even make this up. It almost feels as if they want to say, look, we've broken up. We've, we've, we've broken up. What, 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 what do you want to get back together for? They want to move forward. Let me continue. My angels and thank you. Oh, my God. That's exactly what the case is because you're heartbroken. That's why you're in the dark. I can't make up this reading. My God. We've got five swords here. Uh, communication with this person is a battlefield. Many of you, they're going to uh, go silent on you this week. And that is them guarding um, you, guarding themselves from you. And that's what is going to put you in the darkness because you're not going to know what's going on. It almost feels as if you're being guided to see clearly without this person even talking to you, that they, they want to move forward with their life. They don't want to be with you. Many of you, you want to be with this person. You want to celebrate this connection. But it also could represent they've met somebody else because there's three people here. That is what you're possibly being guided to see. They might have met somebody new. And this is why this person is quite gung-ho to move forward. So if, for example, you've been in that kind of relationship with this person where it's kind of break up, get back together, break up, get back together. Um, I feel that this person, they are the kind of, they have that kind of attitude. Once you break up with somebody, they don't go back. They may have compromised their belief system with you by keep going back to you or entertaining you. And now they may have met somebody else. They may have met somebody else 
And so now they've just they've, they've just gone silent on you. With this three of cups here, because it's sitting on your side, you're being guided to see clearly that this person isn't going to compromise with you. They're going to go silent on you. Accept it. They're not aligned with you. Let it go. And many of you, if you then move forward, you're going to find success by believe, still believing in love. OK, and many of you are going to be celebrating because you're going to get to know somebody else. Let's um, clarify. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify how does these soulmates of the collective whoop, slip in and slide in? Well, these cards wanted to come out. Let's have a look. So we have got, okay. So, oh, all right. So look, there's the choice that we were talking about. Um, I feel that this, per you and whoever you're connecting with, you um, have lived many lives with each other. So if this has been a rep repetitive cycle between you and this person, I feel that they're making a choice to not compromise. Look, look I can't even make it up. It's coming out of my mouth and the cards are there. Um, they're making a choice uh, not to compromise um, on their emotions anymore. This person is not, even though they miss you, OK, I feel that you've got a real deep connection with this person, um, but they are not comparable. They're choosing not to clear up any misunderstandings, miscommunication, particularly if they have met somebody else. Could be dealing with the Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart. They do miss you. All right. They are nostalgic to the relationship, but I feel that they're trying to let you go. And then look at that uh, with the uh, four of cups. This person, uh, they could have other people around them wanting to move forward. You are still on their minds, though. And the three of cups, yeah, the three of cups, the three of cups. I told you, this person might have somebody else. But it's almost as if they're thinking of you. For some of you, they want to might, might, might want to move forward with you. They might be torn between someone new in their life. And you still feeling really nostalgic. They've got a choice to make. Either to surrender to the connection with you. Or stay on their guard and remain silent. They are conflicted with the five of wands. We've got um, Leo, Cancer popping up here. And Scorpio. Let's continue. Gosh, this is going to be different for all of you. I hope you guys take what resonates for you and leave the rest because I feel like I'm getting about five or six different messages and I'm trying to nail it down with the oh look at that oh my god this is your divine counterpart the king and queen of coins I thought that when I saw the um when I saw the eight of cups, if this might have been a twin flame, but this is definitely your soulmate, your ultimate soulmate, possibly your twin flame, uh, the king and queen coming out side by side. But what is disturbing is coming out in reverse. And it's because both of you are suppressing how you really feel. You're not being given the opportunity to talk and they are stopping talks. They know that a talk needs to be had. But they're just not entertaining it because they're conflicted because they might be involved with somebody else. Yeah, you want to talk because you want to put the work in. With the three of coins, you want to you want to put the work in. But it's like this person, it's almost a little bit like they're gaslighting you. So either you have been in a little bit of talks with this person, which is giving you a bit of hope, but then this week is like they just go silent on you. I feel they want to clear something up and what they want to clear up is like we've been disconnected or we've been broken up or we haven't seen each other for ages. I've moved on. I've met somebody new, but they don't know how to have that. They don't know how to have that conversation with you. Because deep down, they're still miss, they're still nostalgic over you because guess what? You you might actually be their twin flame. But it feels as if the le if it is a twin flame, then there's a lesson here. They've brought you a lesson and it's to know when. Oh, my God. Remember in the you remember at the beginning when I was saying that I was channeling that um, the connection hasn't been woven yet. This is why. That's the lesson that they're bringing to you It's to know when to be still and to let go. And if they return to you, which they may do in the future, which is why you're going to be celebrating. 
is because it hasn't been woven yet. It's still in the womb and it, you're, that's why you're in the dark. Right. OK, so spiritually, you may be in the dark because the connection is still being woven. But in the meantime, if this is a reconciliation or somebody that you want to return to, they can't see clearly that they are supposed to be with you. And they may have found somebody else, which um, is, uh, I suppose, in a way, uh, a distraction. It's um, it's it's something that has um, come into their life to help them move on, you know. They sort that person out, that new person, whatever it is. But the, at the heart of it, they are confused. They're confused about their emotions. They miss you. They're nostalgic. They are seeing other people, but they're still thinking about you with that one big cup. It's because they are conflicted. They don't know what to do. They don't. They know that there is a conversation that needs to be had. But they don't know how to um, have it. Because, like I said, it feels as if this person's attitude is that once I break up with somebody, I don't go back. But you two might have been on, off, on, off or engaging with each other, like messaging, chatting, seeing each other really regularly. And then all of a sudden it just fizzles out. They compromise themselves because this person is your divine counterpart. And so this time round, as you try and re-engage with this person or reconcile, they ain't having it. They're not having it. And what the only reason why they're not having it this time is because for many of you, they've met somebody else. Otherwise, you'd be going back and forth again, break up, make up, break up, make up. You're being guided that you have the ability to see here what clearly is going on. Right now, the two of you are not aligned. You need to lift that veil and move on. Let it go. It's not to say that the two of you won't get together in the future. Because many of you might. You might end up celebrating getting to know this person in another time, like later on, you know, a month, a week, uh, two weeks, a year, 10 years, who knows? And that is when the work can be put in. But right here, right now, this week, it is you're being guided to see that this ain't happening right now, you and your person. They've met somebody else and they want to move forward with that. Let them go. And if you can do that, that's where you're going to have your success. But maybe still believe in the connection or believe in love. Because that's where you're going to be celebrating, getting to know somebody new or getting to know this same person at a later stage in life. And the high priestess in reverse. Yeah, you're not connecting with your higher self. You're not connecting with your higher self. So you're not seeing clearly the connection hasn't been woven yet. Not properly anyway. And so the two of you are some really suppressing how you feel about a conversation. It's almost like a very frank, clear conversation needs to be had. Uh, but they ain't having it. It's like they're blocking you because they've got someone else. They've got someone else to distract them. That's why... That's why they were saying you get out there because you're isolating yourself. Don't do that. Get out there. Get out and about. Get back on the dating game. Because it will help you to ground yourself. So that you can see clearly. Yeah. Look at that. I can't even make it up with the hermit card. You're being guided to make wise choices. Seek the guidance of making wise choices. And if you're all up, upset, heartbroken over the situation, in the dark, don't know whether you're coming or going, you're being guided to ground yourself so that you can see clearly the path that you need to take. And genuinely, I feel that you're being guided for the moment, okay? For some of you, it's going to be for the moment. Just let this person go. That is where you're going to have your success for some of you still believe in the connection, you might reconcile with this person later on in life. But right here, right now, it's a no-no. It's a big fat no-no. Because they're messing around with your spirit. Particularly as, as your divine counterpart. 
And if they are a twin flame and you understand twin flames, if you don't, go and Google it. Part of a twin flame journey, sometimes you've got to go through that separation phase in order to level up to then come back together and reunite. For some of you, um, you're being guided to believe in love. Don't, don't, um, don't discount love. You just may need to accept that this person isn't your person for now anyway. Or it could mean that they're not your person and you will celebrate your true twin flame. Those in reverse could signify that um, uh, you're suppressing your emotions. The new person is suppressing their emotions because you haven't met yet. Because you're still tangled up with somebody else that categorically wants to move on with somebody else. Even though they miss you and they're nostalgic, they're confused. You don't want confusion in your life. This is why this lifting of the veil, question, look at it. Question everything. Anything unaligned must go. You're really, really being guided to make a choice. Those of you that I'm reading for and connecting with it, make a choice to do what's best for you. We are strongly being guided. Don't stop believing in love. For some of you, don't stop believing in this connection. Your success is knowing when to let go and move on because either you'll be celebrating the same said connection later on in life or divine spirit universe is bringing somebody in um, new for you that will be able to compromise, that will balance you out, that will give and receive equally, that's going to make you happy. Wow, that took us a time to get there, but um, yeah, complex reading, complex reading. Okay, uh, what other signs? Uh, just to let you know, so we have got um, Cancer, Leo, Capricorn and Virgo popping up here. So any of those signs could be in your chart or their chart. Let's get some advice for you close this out before it tends to be too long a video first advice is gratitude universal love shines through the miracles of life all around you many of you you're going to be grateful for this lesson if it is your twin flame because many of you are going to reconcile and get to know this person later on in life and they're going to be a very very different cup of tea for um others of you you may be grateful you're being guided to either be grateful for this experience to close it off learn the lesson of knowing when somebody doesn't want to be with you and knowing when to step okay like knowing that they're not aligned to your how a relation your your view of how a relation should be of compromise and balance step get rid of it because what is round the corner for you is somebody else that does know how to compromise and give and receive equally all right and that is the miracle okay of the love that is all around you and you guys are being guided strongly you are not alone. You are guided by masters and teachers of the highest realms. So get out there, okay? Get out there, get, you know, many of you, if you have isolated yourself, um, you're not alone. I feel that they're prompting you to get out there, get back onto the day, dating scene, or just get out there and connect with commu your community, your friends, your families. Don't keep yourself in the dark. Don't keep yourself um, uh, cocooned, isolated. Get out there. Uh, your guides are guiding you uh, to success, um, but they just want you to believe in yourself, believe in love, Never stop, never stop believing in love, all right? We all deserve it. We are love. Divine spirit universe, our higher selves, that loves us beyond measure. And yes, and there's the abundance, guys. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. You're being guided. Do not give up on love. Whatever your scenario is, whether you've got to kick this person to the curb in order to open the door for celebration and somebody else or to 
Be accepting that you and this person, it's not your time just yet. You may be celebrating uh, you and them getting together, hooking up later on in life. Whatever it is, the abundance is coming to you. It just might be in a different form and a different package. So apply a bit of humility. Uh, apply a bit of humility. Um, also give, give to others, okay? Um, serve humanity. I said humility, but maybe it is humility to accept. Accept that for some of you, uh, not all of you, the person that you are with doesn't want to be with you. Not to say that they, they're going to, uh, not to say that that's going to change in the future. But get out there, give to others, do something selfless. It will help you. It will help ground you. I think it will also help you to connect with your guides who are trying to guide you through this. They're definitely trying to teach you that, okay? And many of you will be grateful by the end of the week um, or later on of what this lesson is bringing to you, this person is bringing to you. I hope that many of you, you end up with this person later on in life, whether or not you'll ever remember this reading, I don't know. Or you, you know, you decide to kick it to the curb and, you know, lo and behold, you go out, do something for some people or something selfless, and then you meet the person of your dreams. That would be, you know, my wish fulfillment for you. But this heartache and this darkness, I feel that this is where your team doesn't want you to be. You have the ability to see things a lot more clearly. Do it. Oh, that was a bit of a heated one. I do apologise. get very passionate when I do these readings. Um, if this resonates for you, uh, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, my beautiful, beautiful collective energies. Um, I'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.